Douglas Red Healy at the studios of WRED, and today we have the pleasure of having with us a distinguished gentleman who's been spending some time in the hospital today. So we thought that we'd uh, take some of the things that have come up in the hospital, uh, questions that might have come up about uh, his business here today. And of course, it's uh, very interesting to all government employees because today I have with me Mr. Henry Nolder, who's the secretary, I believe, is that secretary right? Secretary Treasurer. Secretary Treasurer, combining them, of the NFSE. So right away, as soon as you're thinking about it, I'm going to ask Mr. Nolder to tell you uh, just what is the NFSE. That means, the, Mr. Healy, the National Federation of Federal Employees. <coughs> it's an organization that was organized in 1917 in the city of Washington in September and has been uh, active in behalf of the welfare of federal employees since that date. It has approximately 90,000 members and is represented in all branches of the government and in foreign countries. It uh, attempts through legislation and administrative means to solve the problems that come up between the employee and government and what we would call management. Uh, many times these things have to do with legislation and require the action of the Congress. Other times we take those matters up, for instance, in the Veterans Administration, uh, through our local, local number 23, here in the city of Philadelphia, with the manager and the personnel officer. And if we cannot solve them here, we take them up through the administrative officials in Washington. Well, uh, who can join the NFSE? <coughs> Any employee in the hospital here may join the National Federation of Federal Employees by signing an application card and presenting it to the duly qualified representatives of this organization, the Local 23. Well, usually I know that uh, most people's idea of uh, unionizing is the fact that uh, we read much of it in the paper today. As a matter of fact, there's a real big one going on in this area is the right of strike. But uh, the way I understand it, I don't think you can strike against the government. So how would the NFSE actually help the person otherwise if he couldn't strike? You're correct, Mr. Healy. By law, federal employees may not strike. And uh, we have a non-strike clause in our Constitution. The uh, Congress of the United States acts like a board of directors would in a corporation and they determine the policies and pay of federal employees. Therefore, if we were to strike, we would be striking against ourselves. Uh, we have had uh, salutary uh, benefits given to us. We've had, uh, uh, we started out from nothing. Uh, now, we have a classification act, a retirement act. We have the benefits of uh, leave, and we have uh, all the things in pay that we've been able to get over all these years. Some of them a matter of right today that formerly were merely a matter of privilege. In other words, uh, you do it on more peaceful methods than strike. I mean, by by petition. Petition and persuasion. Persuasion <laughs> and uh, documentation, facts. Well, uh, the thing of uh, some of the things you just mentioned that have uh, come up, I imagine that uh, the NFSE isn't uh, exactly satisfied with everything. Uh, I imagine you will continuously in the future be looking forward to various acts. That's correct, because ours is a compromised system of government. There are differences of opinions in the Congress and in the administrative uh, offices. Uh, we get what we can at the time based on the uh, generosity of the moment and go back if we are not satisfied year after year, and that's our progressive form of approach. Well, how about an individual that joins, say, here in the hospital now? Where would he go? I mean, uh, there's no place in the hospital, actually, that they have meetings, but where would he have his voice in the union? The local meets on the third Tuesday of each month, usually at the Sylvania Hotel, and each member is notified by mail of these meetings, and all may attend, and not only may they attend, but they may bring their friends along with them. And uh, the thing is then, he's not just uh, representing a, a union member in the Veterans Administration, but it is of all government workers in the area? He is uh, a member of a local that takes in what we call a general local, that takes in Army, Navy, Air Force, Customs, Treasury, Internal Revenue, Veterans Administration, and a number of other establishments. Well, could you basically tell us more or less at this time just uh, what your day has been spent? I mean, what uh, your main drive is for being here in the hospital today? We're here on a, on a visit uh, to 
meet the official personnel and the employees in the hospital and to answer their questions uh, in connection with uh, an invitation by management. And we've had a very successful day. We've had a good number of questions and uh, we've, we've explained our position and the position of particularly wage administration in connection with the conversion from CPC uh, to wage board procedures, which is a great deal different from our Classification Act people because the folks uh, are divided here into two groups. Uh, the classification, which also takes in uh, the medical personnel and uh, the wage board folks who are under the wage board or wage administration procedure. Mm -hmm. well, We've Mr. had Miller. a very successful day, may I say. They're very fine people here. Well, I'm glad of that. And uh, I guess our time is just about running, uh, but uh, before we do go, let's just uh, say once again that if someone was interested uh, in joining the NFFE, just about what would the procedure be for an individual, say, in this hospital? There are a number of representatives here, the names of whom can possibly be uh, gotten from the employee relations officer, who will be glad to accept the application for membership. So uh, it's just a matter of asking and... Uh, it's a matter of asking, and there, and there are a number of people around, a number of folks around rather than people who would be glad to advise them. Okay. Well, was there anything uh, that you would like to close with? Uh, any word? Well, we'd like to say that uh, when folks in the veteran, when folks come into the Veterans Administration, they are serving the veteran who's given his all to government. They should remember this and do as much as they can to make his stay in this hospital pleasant and that he will go out a well and happy man. Well, thank you very much, uh, much Mr. Nolder, for coming down here. You've just heard a program featuring Mr. Henry G. Nolder, Secretary-Treasurer of the National Federation of Federal Employees. Back there, Esau. That was Esau Jabber, Jaw the Hired Hand. But right now, as I was telling you, we got the song that's the topper of them all. Arthur Smith with that electric guitar, the song that sold over two and a half million copies on Phonograph Records, Guitar Boogie. <laughs> You know, we've got four fellers in the corner store. About this time in every one of our broadcasts, they surround our corner store microphone and have a very fine hymn or spiritual offering. Today is no exception. The Crossroads Quartet to sing 
I'll be a friend to Jesus. They tried my Lord. They tried my Lord and Master. With no one to with no one to defend. Within the hall, within the hall of Pilate, he stood without, he stood without a friend. I'll be a friend, I'll be a friend to Jesus. My life for him, my life for him, I'll spend. I'll be a friend, I'll be a friend to Jesus until my years, until my years shall end. To all who need, to all who need a savior, my friend, I recommend because he brought, because he brought salvation. Is why I am, is why I'm his friend. I'll be a friend. I'll be a friend to Jesus. My life for him. My life for him. I'll spend. I'll be a friend. I'll be a friend to Jesus until my years. Until my years shall end. Very nice chorus. Well, you know we haven't heard from our log cabin boys on this corner store broadcast. Going out to all you guys and gals and veterans hospitals all over the country. You want to call them up right now for the salty dog blues. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this little quarter-hour program, why don't you drop us a line? Arthur Smith and many of the fellas at the corner store in Charlotte, North Carolina. Maybe we can arrange another get-together before too long. Until we do see you again, Ralph, hit the theme song. It's time to go off. Well, we hope you folks have enjoyed this visit down in Arthur Smith's corner store. All the gang gathered around to entertain you. Right now, this is your old traveling salesman, Bill Mack, speaking for the whole crew and saying so long, everybody.